Hello everyone, welcome to Code with Femi. In this video, we're going to be looking at SQL conditions. SQL conditions is actually how you uh, manipulate the data in your database tables where you have a clause so it's a condition you have to you can add to actually say that just fetch me data where this condition is met and the, the conditions are always um, boolean so it's always going to be boolean just actually bear that in mind and so in terms of sql conditions it actually really helps to be able to just fetch a subset of data let's say that you have billions of records in a, in, a, in, a, in a table in a database and you really just want to fetch five so this is where you can actually use those conditions to actually like trim down the data you want to return back so let's just go to the ide i have a dbe already that i've actually set up and then i've also set up a table that we can just use for this exercise in there you can see we have um these three records that were inserted on on here already and also what I just want to show you is that there are cases where this is just going to be read for some reason in, manage, in um, SQL Management Studio. So how you can fix this is you can actually go to edit, you go to IntelliSense and then you click on refresh local cache. And that should in a way, um, you know, fetch the, the if you can see now the red is gone. So I just want to point that out because I, when I was starting with this, it was quite frustrating. I'm like, well, this thing is still red, but I have my table there. But you just have to go to edit, IntelliSense, and then just say refresh local cache, and that would actually refresh it. So just bear that in mind. So as you can as you can see, we have one, five, six records in here. And basically, there are cases where I just want to fetch two of these records. Let's say I want to fetch let's just say i want to fetch the first record so how do i do that so i can say select i'm just going to remove that and just use star because i want to fetch every column all the columns in this table so from that um table where id equals one so what this is going to do is this is just going to fetch the first record for me which is perfect right so let's say for instance i want to fetch um, um let's say i want to fetch maybe records between a certain range so i can actually say id between um one and five i can also do this this actually tells me that i only want to fetch ids that are between one and five so this will return back one and five because those are the two ids that i have currently here yeah? which is fine right so that's how you use between and and so this is another condition that you can use another one that really works well is like so let's say for instance i just want to let's go back to all the records so in here i just want to fetch where the middle the middle name contains o right so you can see here o is there o is there right how do i write that i just put in here and say where middle name so middle name like with a quote, single quotes, always remember single quotes, not double quotes. Then you have a percentage. This tells you that you're saying where, um, you know, where it ends with, ends with, and then you put O, and then you put another percentage. This tells me that anywhere, it doesn't really matter where this, as long as it's actually there. Um, there's a O there, then just return that record. So if I run this, what do you think is going to return? Basically going to return for, uh, 1 and 6, those two. So let's execute this. You can see there, it only returns those two uh, for you, right? And also you can actually say where it actually starts with just O. Because you don't, you don't want to return everything. So what is it going to return? It's just going to return... The actual top one because that starts with O, right? And then um, in terms of ends with, we can actually also do. So let's use another example. Let's say where last name starts with O. And see it returns this, right? Um, let's remove that. We have F E. Let's say 
where it starts with E. Let's see. You can see there's nothing that actually starts with E. Um or there's nothing, I don't think there's anything that starts that ends with E. So you can see there. So for you to be able to just find a specific keyword where it contains, so you just have to make sure that you you know you use this correctly. So let's say that we want to use where it contains uh which one would be a good example e e e okay e e is all, all all over here which is good so i can actually say where it contains e and then we'll just have to change that to first name right and basically we run this sorry on that you can see it returns everything back right so now let's say that we want to just say that where it ends with e right so it's gonna return those two because it actually ends with e the first name ends with e so those are the ways you can actually use your um you know your like i've shown you between and um, another one you can also do is you can actually do you can actually do in so in is another good one that i really use so where you can say that so let's select everything again so that we can see what we have there so we have all this right so we can basically basically say that um um where don't forget to remove that um semicolon you can say where id in bracket open and you can say five and six so basically what you say now is just return to me any record that has five or six okay in there you can see you have five and six so do, that is how you trim and you you know you trim your data and you do search if you want to do search that is how you know you you know you actually go about it and also another one that you also want to use is yeah, cases where you want to even write a query in here so it doesn't limit you to just add coding values in there there are cases where you want to like select it by doing another so you can have like sub queries so select id from let's say this actual table which is your sql condition table where id is sorry is greater than six okay or let's just say greater than six okay let's try this one this should return no record because there's nothing greater than six we can say equals or greater than six and that will return just the the one with you can see there and i can also say greater than equals to five which will return two records because we have two there so this actual query that we've just written for instance is also equivalent to five or six okay because if you run this and also what you can also do is even before you run this you can highlight that actual com that actual statement and execute it and it will tell you okay this is the ids you're gonna have in this bracket so that is actually some of the things in terms of you know doing sql conditions because you you have to find a way of trimming down data there are cases where you might want to check okay check where employees um salary is greater than you know one million or something like that you can you can always use your your way clause to trim it down so that's actually one of the key things that you know that really helps to be able to know what you're filtering and and that you know with that you can actually tell okay this is what i really want to filter on okay so um the the bonus ones i want to really talk about they're not really conditions is also you can actually like um you know sort out you you returning back the data where you can use um, order by order by date created so you can order you can order it by anything so at default it actually um orders it ascending right so if i execute this so you see that it's actually like um ascending right so from the smallest it would keep on going up there or you can actually say des desc which means descending so it will start from the greatest and actually read like that so you can sort by whatever you want to sort you can sort by ids as well descending will start from the top which is the 651 and then if you remove that default it would be that and there are cases where you can see one five six you can you can explicitly say ascending which is asc that would actually like 
thought it like that. So that is actually for your sorting. You can use other buy, which is really good for you to, um, you know, use. And also one of the key ones I also want to mention as part of this, it's just, these are just bonuses. So yeah, you have a first name. Let's say you have a, sorry, you have a first name. And there are cases where you want to do a case to, to actually like um, select, you know, change the value and actually, or return a different value based on the condition. So your condition can actually be in here where you can say case. So case would now be, so this is how you start a case. You start a case and you say um when so when that's your keyword and then you say when then you have a condition you say middle name equals whatever it is let's say awesome is my the, is the condition i'm trying to check when it's awesome then let's say one so that's your that's your like your point for being awesome right or else we can say zero and then we end the case and then we can actually make it an alias to say as result so this would actually now now this what this would do is would actually select the first name and actually just return back one for where it's awesome or is zero where it's not okay let's run this so you can see that we have results so like i mentioned in my previous video you can actually have an alias on your on your column so if you want to change your column name to something else you can have a an alias for it or your table and have any alias for it um so you can see there that um this is one of the ways you can actually have condition in your in a field that you're trying to fetch you maybe you just want to compute and actually return something else you know where you can actually say that uh, you can even say that a uh, message you can change this to message and say uh okay this is uh let's just this one of the things that uh is one of the types of sql that you know should avoid but Let's just say we have a message and then we can just say so we can do this instead and say um youtube viewers are, are awesome okay and then you have this which is uh um oh try again or something like that try again then if I run this, you see that, that now I have a message, which is my new alias that I've just added here. And then I have the values, which I've just used based on the case of that condition. So, yeah, that is actually it for SQL conditions. So let me see. Let me see my, my roadmap for SQL crash course. <laughs> so the next one we're going to be doing is joins. Like we're going to be joining things together. And this is where you start having things like you know dealing with relationships so yeah would actually see how that goes in the next video keep well and cheers